Why, hello there. How am I, you ask? Wonderful. And I hope so are you. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make yourself one of these. This is an infinite glowstone farm. I'll also, towards the end, mention a couple of other plants that you might find very useful. Okay, so this is what we're working with. These are Lucas mushrooms, or Lucas mushrooms. I'm not too sure what they're called exactly, but they are what the farm works with. So in my hand you can see I got the Lucas spore, and all we do is we just build ourselves a nice little room. And so just choose your middle block, by the way. Let's say here, count from there, one, two, three, four. On that fourth block, we place netherrack. These are all netherrack, which is what the loosest mushroom needs to grow on. In between there, you can just put any block that you want. I'm doing mossy cobblestone, and just do that three or four blocks high all around, up until you have yourself a little room like this. Right. From there, we just plant them. Just plant these spores like this, and they will, of course, grow like this. <laughs> you will either get this one, which is the 3x2, this is the bigger one, or you'll get the smaller one, like this one, which is the 2x1 size. You'll get either one of these two sizes when they mature. So we just plant these all around. They'll start off as the tiny one, of course, and then they become the bigger one, <laughs> as you might have guessed. Okay. Now, the cool thing is they once again work with, where is that, the farming ability, which is this one, green thumb, which is why I'm building my farm the size it is, which is from here, in the middle, one, two, three, and that being the fourth block, being the wall all around. So we plant these, they mature, and then from there, we just break them. The tool that they need is an axe. And then once we break them, they give us loads of glowstone. And we also get our spores back. I'm just going to stand here, let them mature quickly, and then we'll chop them down in survival. We can see how much glowstone and stuff we get. Okay, so they're all mature. Pop myself in survival mode. And I've emptied all the glowstone that I have in my inventory. So go ahead, chop this down with the axe like I've said. And then let's have a look how much glowstone we get just from one harvest. I think it's between like one stack to maybe two stacks around there somewhere. And then worth mentioning, I've also got the uh, polarizing stone bobble. I'm using this one. I do with most of my farms. It just makes that all this, you know, stuff just gets sucked towards me so I don't have to go, you know, click and <laughs> click on them everywhere and hold shift and all that stuff, even though I am holding shift because it just sucks them towards me. So just hold shift and that makes it nice and easy. All the junk just comes towards us. And voila! So let us go on through. So, the horrible thing about this, which I haven't gotten to, as you might have guessed, since they are growing on netherrack, you need to get these suckers from the nether. Which is horrible. You probably want to go there once, and die. At some point then you'll go back, and you'll be better prepared. And then on the second, maybe third try, you'll get what you want. <laughs> so that's why, later on, towards the end here, I'm going to mention a couple of other plants that are definitely worth getting while you're in there, so that you can do it like a once-off and just never go back, because it is an absolute shithole in there. So I, uh, I wouldn't go back in there, unless you're, you know, very, very late game. Then you can just go on in guns blazing, but if you're mid game to early game, it's death. Just total death. Let's count in there. So we got, just counting this close then. We got two stacks there. That's not bad. One harvest. And we get, well, we got exactly one stack of Lucis or Lucas board, however it's called, back. And now we just replant. Boing, boing, boing. They are also illuminate the area, which is pretty cool. Like, I'm actually going to use this to decorate my base. They are the source of light. Which is pretty damn cool. So I'm probably going to use this as soon as I build a new base at some point. I kind of try and work this in, you know. Add that flora. Add that awesome looking mushrooms. And then, of course, just to, uh, if you want to maximize on your surface area, as you guys will see in the video, I planted them on the outside as well. 
I mean, you don't need to, but if you want to get like double harvest, you can do this and then you, you make use of this netherrack. Just all the way. And then, voila, you'll probably get like, yeah, four stacks of glowstone each harvest. And that's basically it. You just stand here in the middle, you let your green thumb do the work. Ba -ba -ba, makes them grow nice and fast. We just sit here, we use our polarizing stone to suck in all of the drops. We get the spores back, all that good stuff, and voila, you're all set. And you can make yourself loads of glowing ingots, which is probably why you guys are googling this and looking for glowstone. Now, moving on to honorable mentions next. Right, so, like I've mentioned, you need to get these guys in the nether, which is awful. So while you're in there, keep an eye out for these guys. These are your, are they bone? Yeah, bone mushroom spore. Definitely grab these guys. That's probably the main reason you're going to the nether in the first place. But you need these guys in order to make these thick potions, which you use for loads of other potions. The main ones probably the potion of repairing, potion of light, and the potion of health boost. All of them you make with these guys, so if you see these guys, grab them. They're super good. Right. Oh, by the way, you can grow them on bone blocks in case you guys didn't recognize the texture pack. They, these are bone blocks, you just grow them on there. They, uh, yeah, they fine, that's all they need. Moving on, this is the black apple plant. You just grow this one on netherrack and it gives you the black apple. Not too great, it just gives you regeneration for 5 seconds. So, eh, that's good. This one, this is of course the nether reed. These ones you just need lava next to them in order to grow instead of water. They are like regular sugarcane. Um, but you can use them for more than that, of course. You use them to make paper and... Da -da -da, what is the other thing? Paper, of course, sugar, just like normal stuff. And then also, more importantly, you use these guys in order to make the demon saddle. If you guys want a demon mount. Next up, we got this guy. This is the ink bush. So if you guys see this one, give it a grab. You can just grow this. It's pretty, pretty easy. Um, yeah, it just gives you the ink seed, and you pop these in a furnace, and you got infinite ink. So you don't need to go hunt squids if you like, if you, for whatever reason, yeah, this is uh, just worth noting. Uh, we just take a step back here. These guys, by the way, the nether reed, I'm not sure if I was just unlucky or not, but they did not grow in the overworld. Um, they seem to only grow in the nether at the moment. All the other ones grow, apart from them. And yeah, I don't know why. Maybe maybe my world's buggy, I don't know. But you guys are, you know, that's just worth mentioning. If you guys find uh, that you have the same issue. Like, they, I found that they grew in the nether, not really in the overworld for whatever reason. Moving on to this fella. This is the eye plant, or whatever. It's just called eye. Oh, I'm not creative. Anyway, so these eyes, of course, they drop seed. You plant them on the ceiling, they grow down. If you destroy them, they give you slime. So if you want to, I suppose, you can make yourself a slime farm with these guys. Lastly, we have these guys. This is this the gray mold, I believe. Hang on, I'm not in creative. Okay, in creative again. There we go. So not too important, these two. This is the gray mold. This is the red mold. Both of them you grow on nether mycelium. And it's, yeah, not too amazing, really. <laughs> they, they just give you, that one gives you grey dye, this one gives you red dye, and that is basically it. Now then, lastly, let me show you guys what all this crap looks like in the nether. Okay, so, basically, everything we're looking for is right here. This place is going to be absolute chaos, and you are probably going to die. Just to let you know. This is the Lucis Mushroom, or Lucas Mushroom, I'm not too sure what it's called, I'm assuming Lucis. So there we go, Lucis Mushroom. And let's look in between here, there we go. That is the Black Apple Plant, that one there. This one here, that is the Ink Plant. And of course, all of the bony things is the Bone Mushrooms. So yeah, this sounds nasty. Yeah, so uh, these are the mushrooms. Uh, this is the eye thingamajig, just the eye plant, or just the eye, not even sure if it's called the eye, or just the eye plant. Hello! And then, the last one is of course the nether reed, which I know a lot of people are looking for. Yeah, they just grow like this, next to lava legs, like so. And that is what they look like. And of course, it's going to be, like I said, 
absolute chaos in here. And uh, yeah, just just grab and ditch as fast as you guys can. <laughs> just grab what you can and get the hell out of here. Unless you're super, super late game, in which case, go guns blazing. Cool. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and happy RL crafting. This is Zerger saying goodbye.